Okay, hi guys, it's me, Daniel, from the Benchmark. Um, these are not cars, these are motorcycles, and all three of them belong, well, they belong to me. And you're probably thinking, what the hell is going on? Don't you own a Ducati? And yes, yes I do. Um, but I'm gonna go through these step by step and explain why I have these three bikes. And I'm gonna go into a little bit of detail about the power, uh, the modifications that have been made and the plans. So, uh, okay, let's start with the big one first. Okay, so this is my personal um, Bangkok Express. It's the MT-07. Now, I did have an MT-09 um, for about a couple of weeks and great bike, great bike. Um, if you live in the West, MT-09 is probably best bike you can buy really it is. You don't need any more power than that. It sounds great. It goes great. The latest one's got good suspension. They sorted out the throttle response. The first generations, they weren't so good. I know I, I test rode one. Um, but I ended up buying this um, after the MT-09. So I test rode this after and it really surprised me. Um, it made more low down torque and it just wanted a wheelie everywhere. It's about 15 kilos lighter or 20 kilos lighter or pounds, I, I don't know. It, it, it's, it was lighter and you can feel it. Um, it's also a hell of a lot cheaper. In Thailand, this bike, even though it's made in Japan, it's an import and import bikes cost more money. Um, it works out to about the same as it costs in America and England. Well, it did when I bought it. Now, because of the exchange rate, it costs like 20% more, but when I picked this up, I paid about the same that you would have paid back home. Um, I got a hefty discount as well because I paid cash. So it's in the cool uh, yellow, neon yellow, fluorescent, yeah, I don't know what they call it, but it looks cool. I've got matching gloves and helmet and blah, blah, blah. Um, but I've done some mods to it. So first mod, uh, it needed a better suspension on the front. The front forks, as you can see, well, they're just, this is the thing that lets the bike down the most. I mean, they look crap. They are crap. Um, they do not belong on this bike. Um, it's the, the biggest letdown are the forks. And not only do they look bad, but they're too soft. They're way too soft. So I've made a little upgrade. So the upgrade is this, Olin's. I have an Olin spring damper kit installed in the forks um, with heavy oil uh, to compensate for my heavy body. Um, then the other thing that is lacking were the brakes. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, the brakes are rubbish. They're rubbish, they belong in the 90s. Um, even though the calipers are from like an R6 back in the day, which I remember when that came out, that, that was supposed to be one of the best stopping bikes ever made. But uh, on this, no, no, they're terrible. So I put Brembo sintered pads. Um, you can't see them, but they're in there. And then I didn't find that good enough. So then I spent an absolute fortune putting on this bad boy, which is a uh, Brembo master cylinder. And it is the 19 RCS. Um, I've got some titanium bits on here because I'm a flash git and the bolt's gone missing. Isn't that wonderful? I've lost a titanium bolt. Good job I'm here to see that. Uh, great, titanium bolt missing. Anyway, um, so I've graded that and I also wanted the clutch lever to, uh, to match. So I've also got a nice Brembo clutch lever. So as you can see, they kind of match. I don't know if you can see from there, but yeah, that's it. Now, I didn't just stop there. From the factory, they sound like scooters. They sound, well, they, they, they sound terrible. But this engine, I know, sounds sweet. You just go on YouTube, you, you, you type in MT-07, and you know, you get all this amazing sounding bikes. So I got a full, and I mean full, genuine, not no copy, a Prokovic exhaust system uh, the carbon fiber one, the little twirly whirl here. I've taken the baffles out and um, 
oh, it sounds very sweet, very, very sweet. Um, it loses uh, a fair amount of weight. Um, I then did the air filter, which lives inside here. I did the DNA stage two, so it's, uh, it's got a massive opening. Um, and I didn't stop there. I then had the ECU remapped and it made 85 horsepower at the crank, which is about 75 at the wheel. Um, he said it's the strongest MT-07 he's ever dynoed. And here's the thing that's going to make you laugh. Have a look at this. Okay, so here's what's going to make you laugh. I did this when it had 100 kilometers on it. It's only got 450 now and it's getting faster and faster every day. So this bike was dynoed with all of those mods with 100, 150 kilometers and it made 85 horsepower. He had a whole spreadsheet full of all of the MT-07s he's dynoed and it was making about two horsepower more, but the torque, the torque was identical to a standard MT-09. Now go wrap your head around that. I've got MT-09 torque without the horsepower, of course, but I've got MT-09 torque in a bike that's lighter, smaller, more efficient. It costs nothing to run. I mean, it's just great for Bangkok. So this is my personal bike. I've got these little bar end mirrors. I love these. I really do rate them. They're fantastic. I have them on all my bikes. Uh, that's for my phone, for GPS, so I know where the hell I'm going. I've got, this isn't the cable, this cable's a cheap, horrible thing. I've got a proper cable. Um, it's got a double USB and uh, you can just plug it in and you know where you're going. Just about, the roads don't really make much sense here, like most of this country, to be honest with you, but um, <laughs> uh, I haven't got lost yet. Um, but you probably wanna know what it sounds like, don't you? So uh, let's give you a little sound clip. Okay, so how does she sound? Uh, she confuses me. I've had nothing but Ducatis for years and um, I keep thinking I'm riding a Ducati. Only it's smoother because there's no EU nonsense, so there's no mid RPM. From the factory, it didn't have the mid RPM problem, but after the tune, the O2 sensor was disabled. But uh, it's pretty loud. Okay. I, better, uh, I better stop there. She's really loud, really loud. And in most countries, that's too loud. But here in, in Bangkok, I need that. It's, it, it's a safety thing. It's a very noisy, busy city. And when you hear this coming, you move the F out of the way. And I need that, you know, it's a lifesaver. You hear the same pipe save lives. I mean, back home in England, other countries, oh, I mean, we just say that for an excuse. So we can have loud exhausts, but here in Bangkok, loud pipes save lives because they ain't seeing you because they ain't looking but if they can hear you and they can hear this and it sounds like a big nasty bike they move out the way and i know that because when i ride this they move out the way i ride the other ones they don't care so that's dmt07 um my personal get around bike i love it Standard rear shock, it's got adjustable rebound. I don't need to upgrade it to Olin's. <laughs> this is gonna make you laugh because the other bikes, yeah. we'll get, let's get to the other bikes. Okay, so here we have the MT-15. The 15 means it's 155 cc. It's a little baby. It's the baby MT. It is the smallest MT they make, unless you live in England and you have to have a 125, I'm sorry. Over here, the babies are 155s and they're a hell of a lot faster. So this bad boy makes, hold your pants on, ladies and gentlemen. This bad boy makes 20 horsepower, 20 horses of anger. I mean, 20, just think about that. You add 20 horsepower to a car, you can't even feel it. So yeah, it's slow, <laughs> um, but it weighs 130 kilos. Uh, but it, it's actually a very special bike. This is the latest model. And as you've probably noticed, it matches the look of the big bike. 
because it does, because it's designed to match. Sorry, I got caught in dirt and rain, so it doesn't look like this normally. Normally it's nice and clean, but I'll sort that out later. Um, now I've done some upgrades on this uh, and I think I should point out that you guys are asking what the hell am I doing in Thailand? This is part of the reason why I'm in Thailand. I'm developing uh, things for these bikes. I have a extensive background in the Yamaha single cylinder engine. I know it very, very well. I know what it's capable of um, and it's capable of a hell of a lot more than 20 horsepower. Okay, so first upgrade is the RCB four piston caliper. Um, not a huge amount of money over here, like 50 pounds, I think they are. Big upgrade over original, comes with uprated pads, sintered pads. I've got hell lines that match the, or almost match the color. Um, the forks, they're so new, there's no Olin's kit for this yet. Yes, yes, I said Olin's on a 150, I know, <laughs> but there will be one. Um, so I've just put heavyweight oil. Um, that has actually helped quite a bit. So better than nothing. Now we've also got a radial master cylinder. It's not a Brembo. I'm not going to spend the money I spent on that on this because it's a 150. I mean, brand new. This bike is less. It's like 1,500 pounds over here. Um, I'm not going to spend. 250 300 pounds on a brake lever it's just stupid right it's a baby bike so this is like the thai version of brembo i mean it hasn't quite but it's got a little bit of movement here and there but it's pretty damn good um it's gold it kind of matches the forks uh i could have chose different colors but that's what i got um that's for camera mount uh gps mount right here very important. I haven't put the USB on yet. That's upstairs. I'll get around to it. But um, the PS de Resistance. This bike has something that even the MT-09, MT-10, MT-07 doesn't even have. And uh, well, I'll just show you. Okay, so this bike has the latest in tech because it came out this year. Watch this. Hi, buddy. <laughs> it calls you buddy look at the gauge rpm gauge it's got a gear indicator um it's got fun many functions i haven't even gone through all the functions but about the same amount of functions i got on the mt09 mt07 but when you turn it off it doesn't just say hi buddy see you <laughs> it's so cute why doesn't my bike say that it's so cute so um that's pretty much everything at the front that's uh, oh you can see i've got the same mirrors i like these mirrors so they're on all my bikes let's get round to the back yeah olin's it has olin's rear suspension adjustable too with a nice satisfying click um it's crazy, I know, but the, the suspension out here is quite cheap. Um, so it was a bit of a no-brainer. The, the original suspension was like a pogo stick. So I put the uh, 40 weight oil on the front, stuck the Olins on the back. Um, this, this actual version for the bigger MTs is like five times more expensive. So yeah it's it's so cheap it's just like a no-brainer so i have olin's suspension on a 155 cc bike nice and stiff the uh the preload is set to my weight uh still fiddling with the damping but as you can see very little sag on there which is what i like um i can just on the dial just make it softer that's quite nice actually um so yeah, that's the, uh, that's the suspension, but I've got one more surprise. Now this is the first exhaust system for the bike. I had it made. Um, this part is from an older model. Everything on the front, basically here, is uh, custom for this, this model because it's got a new head compared to the old version. And yes, it's an Aprokovic. Are you ready? 
not too loud. I've still got all the silences inside. Oh, 20 horses. I don't like it when they're loud and crappy sounding. So this, this is the perfect balance. So that is the MT-15. Um, it is not my get around bike. It's, uh, it's for business, but I'll get into that in another video. But let me know what you guys think. And I'm gonna move on to the next bike. Ladies and gentlemen, you are looking at the most popular bike basically in Southeast Asia. This bike is everywhere. It's called the Yamaha M Slaz. It is the predecessor to the MT-15. The MT-15 is the new version of this. Um, they're everywhere. And I cannot for the life of me understand why, because they're slow, they vibrate, and they're not particularly good. However, this one is a special limited edition. They only made 1,500 of them, and I spent about, what, a week or two looking for one? It was very hard. Um, the only one that we found was any good was in Koh Samoy, which is bloody thousands of kilometers away. But um, I found this one. Now, I've got the same upgrades on this as I do in the MT-15, so I don't need to go into detail. RCB4 piston, hell braided lines, RCB radial, GPS again. Um, but I've got a standard exhaust, but I don't. I do have an Aprokovich for this. I just haven't installed it yet. And I might do that later today, depending on my mood. But look at those forks. Look at them. Look how big they are. It's ridiculous. I mean, they're just covers. They're just covers. Okay, they're fake. They're the same forks that are on that, but just pfft. it's ridiculous look at it it looks like a monster um it's a cool bike i can see why they're popular however now that the uh, mt15's out there's only a free 4000 baht difference let me just give you a tech spec it's the same engine however the head is different so there's five horsepower difference. This only makes 15 horsepower. It's three kilos more heavy, and it's got five less horsepower. Now, that doesn't sound like a lot, but on a little bike, five horsepower is like 50 horsepower in a car. It is slow. It's so slow, it's funny. I basically just go like that everywhere. Everywhere I go, full throttle, everywhere. Um, and it barely goes over 130 kilometers per hour. <laughs> it's slow. So um, again, that's part of why I'm here. Um, let me get you close to another special detail of this bike. Yeah, yep, yep, I know, I know. Olin's, again. This has Olin's, but I didn't put that on here. From the factory, because this is a limited edition, it comes with Olin's rear shock. However, the front forks are standard, so they're like pogo sticks. So whoever worked at Yamaha in Thailand, sorry, you're an idiot. I'm pointing at you, you're an idiot. You can't have amazing rear suspension and pogo stick front suspension. I mean, it's like, it's not balanced. It's not safe. What were you, what were you smoking? You, you can't be smoking anything because drugs are illegal in Thailand, so I don't know what you were doing. If you're gonna put that on this, you needed to do something to the front forks. You can't just put pretty covers on them. Anyway, I'm complaining, but that's what they did. They stuck Olin's rear suspension on a standard front fork and it was hilarious. It was like bouncing at the front and then rock solid on the back um, until I adjusted it. But um, yeah, but there's also one more thing special. So they made only 1,500 of these, which is why it took me so long to find one. Um, but it is model 911. And I always wanted the 911. So uh, life goal achieved, ladies and gentlemen. Life goal achieved. Would you like to know what it sounds like? <laughs> okay. <laughs> just, just don't expect much, okay? Because it's got a standard exhaust. 
15 horsepower. Yeah, that's on. I think it's on. Yeah, it's on. Are you ready? You ready for 15 horses of Yamaha power? It sounds like Grandad's lawnmower. Probably because the same engine is in Grandad's lawnmower. But you know what? These engines are very reliable. They're very fuel efficient. They never go wrong. I mean, I know people that don't oil change them for like 50,000 kilometers and they still work. So who am I to complain, right? It works. But it's a beautiful bike. Um, and again, I didn't buy this for fun. This um, is for business purposes. I bought this version because it looks a lot cooler. Um, it was a little harder to find, a little bit more expensive, but when it comes to what I'm going to be doing here in Thailand, it's important that it looks good because of what I'm going to do. Again, that's another video. I don't want to bore you. So thank you very much for watching. That's all three Yamahas. Um, I would show you all three BMWs, but the E30 is way over there getting some Recaros installed. The M2 is way over there and E46 is stored in the garage in the same area. And I can't bring it to Thailand. I can't bring both of them to Thailand. I'm only gonna have one BMW. I know, first world problems, right? I can have three Yamahas, but only one BMW. Yeah. Um, but I'll tell you one thing that is funny. I've got too many keys. They all look the same, but uh, I've already put that on Instagram. So go have a look and have a giggle if you like. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. Buy merchandise. I don't have any. I'm not a sellout. Um, apply the code. Oh, wait, I'm not a sellout. So yeah, you'll never see that from me. Um, but thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye bye.